Hey, today we talk about renovation of uh, all type one pipe uh, systems. We will be visiting this uh, multifamily house, uh, five stories and one, two, three, four staircases, uh, old built uh, multifamily house with uh, one pipe uh, vertical uh, heating system. Uh, heating systems of uh, one pipe were common in uh, some countries some uh, 40, 30 years ago. And now uh, we will show you how to renovate it in a most uh, efficient uh, economical way of leaving one pipe system, but making it uh, modern and uh, efficient. Uh, this house is uh, with uh, replaced radiators. Uh, some parts of old risers are still remaining. Uh, the whole uh, supply piping is changed with uh, new pressed steel pipes and the substation where the heat is coming from is uh, renovated, replaced with a new substation with uh, modern uh, automatic uh, circulation pump. Uh, so circulation pump is uh, automatic, uh, riser balancing valves are automatic and the radiators are equipped with Danfoss uh, big flow REG uh, valves uh, for one pipe system. Thermostatic heads are from 16 till 28 degrees regulation because uh, the uh, house will be equipped with uh, heat cost allocators for heat measuring for each flat. Saving energy uh, renovating one pipe system, leaving one pipe system concept can be quite huge. We have cases where people save 50% of energy, 60, 70, 80, and we today just talked to the uh, maintenance company and they said there are some houses where they have uh, cases with 90, 0.9% of energy savings. Okay, so let's jump into the house and uh, see what is being done. Now I am in a flat where we can see already a new radiator. So the old radiator was replaced with a new one. And here we still uh, can meet remaining uh, old piping. Uh, flow can be uh, supplied from bottom and can go up or it can uh, come uh, from the ceiling so supply may be here and return can be here uh, how to recognize uh, then system is one pipe or two pipe it is very easy the one very simple rule uh, which is uh, if uh, flow is uh, supplied into radiator and then the return is uh, to the same riser so riser is the same as we can see riser is the same so then the system is one pipe then supply is uh, from one riser and return is to another riser the system is two pipe so this kind of uh, one pipe systems are not very common and uh, not used into new build construction if your pipes, if your rises are still in a good condition, you don't need to change those pipes. You can only throw away this part of connection and uh, install a new pressed steel uh, pipes. So how to do on the right way this kind of uh, renovation? It is very simple. So uh, first what we need to do, we need to maintain the same, same the diameter pipes as it was uh, from riser. Uh, we put uh, this bypass is uh, one diameter smaller comparing to riser. So we need to make a small reduction here to let the uh, water into radiator. So uh, another one very important thing is uh, this elbow. So we cannot have riser straight like it is uh, sometimes being uh, built in uh, old times. So we need to move this uh, bypass a little bit from axis of the riser to have a bigger coefficient of uh, flow into radiator. So uh, mathematically, if calculating, 
this coefficient should be more than 20%, then you will have a, a radiator heating, no problem, and no matter flow goes from uh, basement or flow goes from the upper floors, it doesn't matter. If, you're, if you have uh, this elbow and your bypass is moved a bit from axis of riser, you will have no problems. And one more thing, your bypass should be reduced with one diameter. So for example, press steel pipe, if we have here 22, uh, bypass will be 18. If we have riser 18, bypass will be 15. This valve, this valve depends on diameter of riser. So if riser is 22, it is something like a old DN20, uh, RAG, big flow thermostatic valve should be also DN20. If riser is uh, 18, uh, new pipe, the old pipe will be DN15. So DN15, you should use uh, RAG, big flow uh, valve for a one pipe system. This kind of solution you can renovate uh, no matter um, if you are um, multifamily houses, five stories, nine stories, 16 stories, it works everywhere. Okay, what else? Uh, uh, one more important thing is uh, those RAG valves. RAG uh, means gravitational valve. Uh, it is uh, suitable for one pipe system and uh, it is totally different uh, comparing to uh, two pipe system valve. So two pipe system valves uh, like RAN, they are designed for two pipe system and they have uh, presetting, they have balancing and these valves uh, for one pipe system they don't have uh, any of presetting here we can see there is no presetting only only valve and uh, as we can see here the the cone of this valve is much much bigger so it has uh, a lot less resistance uh, comparing to two pipe system uh, valves with presettings so for one pipe system renovation you should only use valves without presetting and uh, bigger kvs value uh, sometimes you can use uh, one pipe system valves to two pipe system but not vice versa valves for two pipe system doesn't fit for one pipe system okay so riser in uh, this room uh, supply riser or return risers, I think, in another room. And here we can see only one riser. Talking about uh, thermostatic uh, radiator valves and uh, thermostatic radiator heads, there are two options uh, for innovation uh, we would recommend. So one option is uh, with uh, minimum 16 degrees. So this is uh, setting two, which means uh, from 16 degrees. Uh, till 28 or 25 depends on the model but for renovation we are using this uh, type of uh, from 16 in those cases uh, where we have uh, heat metering uh, on a radiator we have a heat meter and it calculates how much heat uh, it produced to a room particular room so for uh, house owners for for flat owners uh, not to close completely thermostatic head as uh, if they close thermostatic heads completely to a snow sign which is uh, 6 or 8 degrees then uh, heat comes from another apartments and uh, then uh, there are some negotiations between neighbors and uh, somebody is unhappy that being uh, uh, somebody is heating another flat let's say so in this case if we have a uh, thermostatic heads from 16 degrees nobody can have uh, less than 16 degrees and uh, there are another thermostatic heads uh, uh, which we use without heat metering then we have no heat meters we would recommend thermostatic heads with uh, upper limit uh, 3 or 4 there are models uh, up to 21 22 or 23 degrees but uh, in those cases where you do not have um, heat metering then you pay by square meter cost uh, when you would probably not be so interested uh, in going down with uh, your TRV um, because you are paying by square meter 
but you are more interested in uh, having maybe more heat so we reduce from factory uh, this uh, upper limit so we have thermostatic heads with a maximum limitation of three or four which is 21 22 or 23 degrees so there are two different models for renovation with minimum limit and with upper limit depends you have uh, heat cost allocation heat meters in your flat or you pay by square meters and you do not have this uh, heat allocator okay and uh, now we will go to basement to see how the balancing of rises is done we are in a basement uh, pipes are not uh, insulated at the moment as construction is on its process uh, later it will be insulated uh, here what i want to show is uh, supply pipe supply pipe is right here uh, we have shut off valve and we have a uh, valve uh, for draining so uh, in this renovation what is left is a uh, riser still here we can uh, see old riser uh, here is a new pipe uh, new riser uh, part of new pipe new pressed steel pipe and uh, all main piping is uh, uh, replaced with new pipes okay so this uh, this riser is supply uh, it goes up to the uh, highest floor and then it goes down here and uh, here we have also uh, valve for draining uh, we have um, automatic balancing valve a valve for shutoff and here as you may see is a piece of uh, old pipe maybe 20 30 years old pipe and here is a press steel pipe and all new piping not insulated yet uh, i would like uh, camera to come closer and i will show how this automatic balancing valve is uh, uh, working let's see the maximum flow it can support it is 1700 liters per hour so if i would preset this automatic balancing valve on 100 percent it would uh, maintain 1700 liters but we don't need that much and uh, as we see it is now already uh, preset on something like 55 percent so more or less it is half of its uh, maximum so automatic balancing valves uh, is very good for one pipe renovation as uh, uh, you don't need to work a lot like with uh, manual balancing valve what is the difference between automatic balancing valves and manual balancing valves you can see in separate video where which link uh, i attached in the description should you replace one pipe system into two pipe system or should you renovate one pipe system and leave uh, the old uh, type of one pipe system with uh, new pipes it depends on your project on and on a case to case uh, you should wait which is uh, more let's say beneficial for you uh, in this case uh, pipes for rises were in a good condition so uh, we left them and uh, we got rid of a new additional drilling uh, through concrete so less uh, construction work and uh, here we have all new uh, main pipes uh, just a small piece of uh, riser is uh, with new pipe new balancing valves and new radiators and new thermostatic radiator valves so this kind of uh, renovation costs uh, less comparing to all new two pipe system okay uh, please check other videos about uh, balancing about commissioning about automatic and about uh, manual balancing valves and thanks for watching see you